Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, the season 1 finale, titled Happy Trails, begins with a flashback to Don Charles, Chicky, and Bernazzi torturing, one of the crime family's debtors at a New York City house years ago. Dwight is summoned by Armin Manny Trusi to handle the situation. When Dwight arrives, he attempts to help the man, but Chicky accidentally sets fire to the house. Dwight is forced to murder the man and is arrested as a result, which explains his 25-year prison sentence. Dwight is being questioned by the ATF and the present after Stacy Beale is shot during a gunfight. Dwight, on the other hand, refuses to divulge any information about Callan Walterp's whereabouts. A lair saves him, and he escapes the interrogation without having to reveal any secrets. Dwight runs into Stacy at the hospital, where she is revealed to be recovering from a gunshot wound. Stacy, on the other hand, is concerned that she will be fired from the ATF. Dwight sends his best wishes to Stacy before leaving the hospital and rejoining his gang. Meanwhile, Waltrip gathers the remaining Black Mac. Adam members. He gathers the gang for a showdown with Dwight and his gang. Dwight kills one of the members who insists on hiding and rebuilding because the ATF is on their tail. As a result of Waltrip's ego, Black Mac Adam is forced into a gang war. Later, Dwight meets with Manny and asks him if he wants to avoid the impending war with Black Mac Adam. Manny laments the fact that fleeing New York all those years ago made him feel like a coward. Manny no longer wishes to be a coward and instead wishes to advocate for himself. As a result, he promises to fight alongside Dwight against Black Mac Adam. Chicky and his subordinates travel to Tulsa, Oklahoma to meet Dwight. Chicky appears in the guise of settling his feud with Dwight. Dwight, on the other hand, sees through Chicky's Ruth and refuses to work with the head of the Invernessy crime family. Dwight insults Chicky and severe ties with the Invernessy crime family. He does, however, bring Goody Karanji to his side. Before returning Chicky and Nico to New York City, Dwight introduces Goody to the gang as an official member of their crew at Mitch's restaurant. Dwight's gang, which includes Manny, Mitch, Tyson, Grace, and others, congregates at Mitch's restaurant where Dwight offers them a chance to lead the life of crime. He insists, however, that if they cross this line, there will be no turning back. The gang unanimously supports Dwight, and he delivers a speech to lift their spirits as they prepare to fight Black Mac Adam. Later, Dwight meets with Body and informs him of Waltrip's fortune, which has been accumulated in a bank account. He orders Body to hack into Waltrip's computer and steal the money. The task becomes more difficult because Walt's computer is in the custody of the ATF. Nonetheless, Body overcomes the obstacle and drains millions of dollars from Waltrip's bank account. Dwight requests that Tyson withdraw from the fight, but he refuses. Walt becomes enraged after learning that Dwight emptied his bank account and opens fire on Mitch's restaurant. Tulsa King final ending does Dwight defeat Waltrip. The conflict between Dwight and Waltrip reaches a climax in the episode's final act when Dwight steals all of Waltrip's money. The Black Mac Adam Biker gang arrives at Mitch's restaurant to exact revenge and finally put an end to their feud. The Biker gang attacks the restaurant, attempting to kill everyone inside. Dwight and his gang, on the other hand, are ready to fight back. The group responds with guns, resulting in a gunfight between both parties. Dwight and Waltrip's feud begins when the former sells drugs in what is perceived to be Waltrip's territory. Despite getting off to a bad start, Waltrip attempts to extend an olive branch and seeks mutual understanding. The White, on the other hand, refuses and ends up killing Carson Pike, Waltrip's right-hand man. Furthermore, the ADF pursues Black Mac Adam in the aftermath of the incident that led to Waltrip harboring a grudge against White. Dwight must eventually defeat Waltrip in order to assert his dominance and prove that he is the undisputed mafia boss of Tulsa. As a result, the gunfight concludes with Dwight cornering Waltrip and fatally shooting him. Why is Dwight arrested? The story jumps three months forward in time after Dwight and his gang defeat Waltrip and Black Mac Adam. Dwight is seen spending time with his daughter Tina and grandchildren, who have arrived in Tulsa to visit him. Spencer teaches the boys horseback riding at the Fenario Ranch, which Dwight takes them to. Following the renovation of Mitch's restaurant, he meets Margaret and invites her to the opening of his new restaurant, Casino. Margaret, on the other hand, does not promise to show up because she has other plans. 
Dwight and Tina have a father-daughter dance at the opening party, and Mitch dedicates a song to Dwight. However, the party is cut short when a mysterious woman approaches Dwight outside the restaurant. Dwight notices Stacy waiting for him, but is taken aback when the ATF arrives to arrest him. The final scenes show the ATF arresting Dwight for bribing an ATF officer and driving him away, while Tina is forced to relive her childhood. The episode's conclusion confirms Stacy's decision to stop protecting Dwight. She almost loses her job as a result of her friendship with Dwight. When given the opportunity to start over, she must accept one of ATS conditions. That condition turns out to be Dwight framing her for bribery, resulting in the Mafia boss arrest. Things eventually work out in Stacy's favor because Dwight handles Walter's case for her, and she arrests Dwight before he can expand his criminal empire in Tulsa. As a result, this was most likely Stacy's intention all along. Meanwhile, Dwight faces another prison sentence and must rely on his outside friends to save him. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.